My first startup was actually a political party. Me and a group of activists came together because we felt the need to do something. Corruption, impunity, and inequality are very present in my country, the Dominican Republic. And as I travel and connect with people all around the world, I seem to encounter the same feeling over and over again. Governments are suffering from a crisis of trust. And as we enter an era of major disruption, our approach to government is one of the few things that has been left fundamentally untouched by the arrival of exponential technologies. Governments are slow, governments are expensive, they are bureaucratic and fundamentally inefficient. But most importantly, governments lack accountability. When a government decides it will not comply with an international agreement tackling climate change, like the Paris Agreement, what do we do? Right now, 66% of energy and 70% of global CO2 emissions come from cities. In the US alone, climate change has cost $350 billion, and it is expected that by the year 2050, those, they'll be spending $35 billion every year tackling direct actions to climate change. So I ask, is there a way we can move society into progress and sustainability independent of federal states? I believe we can. In Global Neo, we're developing a framework to incentivize good governance and sustainability. Our framework allows cities to sign up and place their sustainability goals in a network. We then encourage communities to propose actions at business levels to meet these goals. And if a business takes on the challenge and complies with these proposals, they'll get rewarded with tokens in a decentralized ledger. These tokens could be given any value that the community decides. If implemented by city councils, they could mean tax incentives for businesses to comply. By combining digital democracy with reputation tokens on the blockchain, our platform provides a framework where businesses and communities can work together to meet socially and environmentally desired goals. So going back to the Paris Agreement example, when the President of the United States decided to step out of the agreement, a coalition of businesses, organizations, and governments decided that independent of Washington, independent of, of the federal government, they were still abiding by the Paris Agreement. So this is my first target. The US, climate, the US Climate Alliance has a GDP higher than Germany and Japan combined. However, this framework is not limited to the city level. We could also implement this at the international system, which is the moonshot. Imagine the group of Central American nations uh, agree to an in international treaty, and say a country like Costa Rica complies, but maybe Panama doesn't. The token reward for Costa Rica could mean more voting power in environmental issues, or maybe being the host of the next regional summit, attracting international investors. <sighs> Guys, our scientists are telling us that we have 12 years to keep global temperatures under control. They're warning us that if governments don't take fast and unprecedented actions, we might not have a future for the next generations. If we want to transcend to a new paradigm of social interaction, I believe it's necessary to include disruptive technologies into government and politics. The same way entrepreneurs are reinventing business, we need innovators to reinvent government. We cannot wait any longer to change our governing systems. It's up to us to design new models that can overcome the grand challenge of the 21st century. For that reason, I invite you to join me in developing these models that have the capacity to bring massive, positive change to society. Thank you. <laughs>